As rallies across the country continue to call for a ceasefire in the war in Gaza, Governor Gavin Newsom has written an open letter to California's Muslim and Arab communities in it. He praises the contributions the communities have made to the Golden State and calls for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. ABC 7 News reporter Unzer Hassan has reaction. In an open letter to California's Muslim, Palestinian American and Arab American communities, Governor Gavin Newsom writes, California is a better place because of you. The letter acknowledges the Muslim holy month of Ramadan and calls for a ceasefire in Gaza. We welcome Governor, Governor Newsom's letter and his, in the spirit of the letter in recognizing and identifying our humanity in this moment, but also putting his support behind a ceasefire and that, we, that goes a long way. Laura Kiswani is the executive director of the Arab Resource and Organizing Center. She says when the governor of California calls for a ceasefire, it's a big deal, a sentiment shared by others. I appreciated that he emphasized the sense of belonging, the sense of um, the hurt that happens across the world is felt all the way in our multicultural Bay Area. East Palo Alto Mayor Antonio Lopez, who is Muslim, says the letter also demonstrates how local communities can have a direct impact on global issues, which elected officials are recognizing. It's, it's been a huge effort to get the governor to this point, and I'm grateful that uh, that, that grassroots activism has, has had some success. In his letter, Newsom praised the community's contributions and achievements, saying, you form an essential part of California's spirit. Newsom even acknowledged Californians who lost family members in Gaza and the rise in Islamophobia. I think the governor is right in talking about how important the Muslim community is to the state of California. Sunnyvale City Council member Omar Dean applauds Newsom's letter, but he also points out that Newsom was one of the first U.S. officials to visit Israel after the October 7th Hamas attack. He views this more as the governor shifting his stance as political tides turn. The governor chose very early on not to be neutral in this conflict. Uh, nobody was pushing the governor to get involved. I think the governor is understanding and his choice not to be neutral is something that needs to be made amends for. Professor Emeritus George Basharat says the letter also reflects a change in tone coming from the Biden administration. You know, the uncommitted votes, <clears throat> particularly in the state of the swing state of Michigan, have really told the Democrats that this is a very live issue, and if they don't start moving on it, they're going to pay an electoral price in November. In San Francisco, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.